Welcome to Smart Life Solutions. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to replace a motherboard of a Samsung Galaxy 10.1 inch tablet, model number GTP5210. In my case, I had a tablet with a nice screen, but the motherboard was not working. So what I did is, I did buy another one with a cracked screen but with a fully working motherboard. Firstly, I will check if the cracked screen one motherboard working fine. So let's see. Just turn it on now and check the basic functions. Hopefully it will work. As you can see, it looks the motherboard working perfectly. What I will do, I will remove the motherboard from this crack screen one and put the motherboard to the other one with a nice screen so that I will have a nice working one with a fully working motherboard and a fully working screen. All you need to do is remove the frame so that you can get to the screws. You will need a small size star screwdriver. Once the frame and the back is removed, you will see the little screws. All you need to do is just remove the little screws around the battery. Firstly, you need to remove the leads from the motherboard. You must be careful. And once the leads are disconnected, you will remove the little screws around the battery. It's recommended to remove all the screws.
gently lift up the battery and carefully remove it from the motherboard then you can lift up the bottom part of the motherboard it will come out easily so once you have the motherboard you do the same in the other tablet and just replace them Then screw back the battery and for immediate testing you only need to reconnect the two cables leads as you can see. Because one of them is controlling the touch screen and the other one is for the LCD screen. Once it's set up let's see if it works, hopefully it will turn on.
you just need to press the on button a bit longer. As you can see it turns on. Hopefully the touchscreen works as well. Sorry for the length of the video, I just wanted to show you the process from the beginning to the finish. So as you can see, the tablet with the replaced motherboard is working perfectly. So all you need to do is just put back the frame and the back and off you go. Thanks for watching, see you soon, bye.